everyone, it's Kristen or VSG Hard on My Sleeve and I'm coming you coming to you today with a video talking about exercise. Recently, my support group that I attend at a local hospital had an exercise physiologist come and speak with us and I thought I would share with you some of the things that I learned that were interesting, um, good facts to know, or maybe useful. So, sorry, that's an extreme close-up. Okay, um, first of all, the human body is the only machine that gets better with use. Take that in. It's a good thing to remember, right? It's pretty true. So that's why we want to work out um, goals. He said that we should be trying to strive for is to burn 2,500 to 3,000 calories per week. And at six months post-op, he suggests that you're working out five times a week for one hour at a time. So a minimum of five hours per week. It sounds like a lot, but if you build up to it, definitely doable. Um, sorry if this seems fast, but I'm just trying to get in all of this information without making a 30-minute video. Um, okay, so there's cardio and there's strength training. As far as cardio goes, you want to be doing, I didn't know this, um, 30 minutes of cardio does not achieve what anything over 30 minutes would achieve, and here's why. At 30 minutes out, you've used all of the triglycerides in your blood. Um, what that means, sorry, let me pull up this other sheet so I'm saying this correctly. Um, yeah, so at 30 minutes, all of the triglycerides in your blood runs out. Um, so your body starts pulling fat out of your fat cells, which is really what we all want to be doing anyway, right? Otherwise you're running and sweating, you know, just to burn the triglycerides in your blood. Still a good thing, but wouldn't you rather be burning that fat in your tummy or wherever? Um, so he suggests push yourself to get up to 45 minutes of cardio. This was really important for me because I am currently doing the couch to 5k, which is like 30 minutes of cardio. Um, so if I just jumped on a bike for 15 more minutes or a stair climber, I'd be getting a much better burn for my cardio workout. <clears throat> this is also why hour-long cardio classes like Zumba are a great workout because you're burning all those triglycerides plus another 30 minutes of pulling fat out of your cells. Um, <clears throat> what else about cardio? It's good to know cardio burns more calories than weightlifting does. That's why it's important to do. However, you should be doing weightlifting as well as cardio. Um, also, aerobic cardio is good to build your endurance and your stamina. Um, whereas strength training is maintaining or building your muscle mass. So two different things, but both equally as important. Um, and then also know that cardio or aerobic cardio is actually defined as 20 to 60 minutes of uninterrupted rhythmic large muscle movement. So, um, you know, if you do 10 minutes of cardio, stop for 30 minutes of weightlifting and then come back for 10 minutes of cardio, you're really not doing, getting as an effective as a workout as you could be doing. Um, you really want to do 20 to 60 minutes solid, uninterrupted, and as I said, anything over 30, you're pulling that fat out of your fat cells. Um, okay, strength training. Strength training, as I said, is to build or maintain your muscle mass. We think of strength training as using dumbbells or cable machines, but it can also be using resistance bands, resistant tubes, or even your own body weight, like push-ups, um, you know, or I don't know, anything that uses your body weight, tricep dips, that sort of thing. Um, a lot of people want to know, is it better to use the cable machines or is it better to use dumbbells? If you're a beginner, the answer is cable machines. This way you don't injure yourself. There's the little pictures on the machine that tell you exactly what to do and what you're working. Um, however, dumbbells do build, they are um, working more muscles because not only are you doing the same maybe like curl as you're doing on the cable machine, but you're also using other muscles to guide them into place. Um, just a little tip that he gave us. What else? Oh, he said as far as weightlifting, you should be shooting to do weightlifting two to three times per week. So if you're using his rule of thumb of working out five times a week, that means at least three out of five workouts need to include weightlifting. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Okay, so he described to us the difference between slow, 
slow twitch and fast twitch muscles. So let me sort of draw this out. So you have a muscle fiber. One part is slow twitch muscles. Another third is the fast twitch fibers of your muscles. This part is the fog, which is the fast oxidative glycolytic portion. So if you want to strengthen, tone, build, maintain your muscles, you don't want to be doing just slow twitch or just fast twitch. The fog sort of picks up with this one or picks up with this one and overlaps. So how do you work each side? Slow twitch is endurance, so low weight, high rep. This would be the people who are doing, you know, five pound curls for 20 reps. Fast twitch is your power lifting, so this would be people who are maximizing their weight, so maybe like, can I curl 50 pounds one time? Um, so now that you see this picture, you get what I'm saying. Let me further explain, like, sorry, I have to pull out this note. Okay, so. For if you want to maximize your workouts, you want to do different types of workouts. So most people do like three sets of 10 or 12 reps every time they work out. You're better off varying your workouts. So sometimes doing endurance workouts, which would use your slow twitch muscles, which might mean I'm going to curl for one minute as many reps as I can get in. Okay. Then the next time you go, you might want to max out or do pyramids, which is where you start with, I'm going to do my max weight curl, something that maybe I can only do one time, then drop some of that weight, something maybe I can only do three times. And maybe you're only getting a total of like five to ten reps in per set. But you want to vary them so that sometimes you're building your slow twitch and sometimes you're building your fast twitch. This will all around give you the best um, strength training workouts. Okay, what else? Oh, as far as your core goes, he said don't get on those core machines and pump the weight way up just because you can. Remember that your core, your abdominal muscles are endurance muscles, so you do, or slow twitch, so you do want a low weight and a lot of reps. That's why a lot of sit-ups or a lot of crunches, repetitions work well for your core. Um, let's see, what else did I want to say? Um, Remember that we exercise both in distance traveled and in distance and vertical distance traveled. So that's why like a ladder machine or climbing a ladder or rock wall climbing is so difficult. You're fighting gravity and you're also burning a bunch of calories. If you think about a step instructor, they're coming off the step and back on. So they're doing distance traveled, but they're also going up and down. That's why those type of classes are a great workout. And I know I forget about vertical distance traveled, but it does explain why when Frank and I go rock wall climbing, it's really hard. So if possible, um, add in some vertical, vertical cardio or you know vertical distance traveled to your workouts. Don't just do distance running or biking or swimming. Try to do the vertical as well. So I'll end with one of the things he said, which is less of you is more. And I loved that. It's so true. So um, go out there, get your best workout on. And um, remember, less of you is more. The human body is the only machine that gets better with use. Hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in my next video.